Hello everyone. Bonjour. Today we will speak about <laughs> new, new fragrance in our cherry. house. Cherry. Wait, new cherry fragrance, not only in our house. It's uh, new in 2023. Yes. So, not long time ago, we received Vice Bomb from Simone Andreoli. Yep. Did That's... I pronounce everything well? <laughs> yeah, this time is right. Yeah. So, who loves cherry fragrance? Buy it. Buy it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> bye. See you next time. No. no. Uh, let's speak about Simone Andreoli fragrance. This is really, 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 really hyped right now. Everyone. Why? I think the trend was started with the person who discovered it was um, Funmi Monet, really famous blogger on YouTube mm. and uh, Instagram and, and uh, TikTok as well. And she said like she always used the fragrances of this brand. So she make it uh, mm. super pretty. Uh, she just give appropriate amount of shout out to that fragrance. Mm -hmm. So people start smelling them. In general, the fragrances, any Italian fragrances are vivid, loud, juicy, extremely juicy. Simone Giole is not an exception from that one. And uh, his fragrance is always based uh, on um, sweet vanilla coconut base, which is extremely comfortable mm. to wear. So you wear this fragrance is always some kind of feeling yourself indulged in something really exquisite. Okay. Let's try new edition by his bomb. And also, also, he created the fragrances Eau de Parfum Intense, which means it's uh, extreme de parfum. Cherry, cherry vanilla. For me, Caramel. For me, it's a boozy cherry, mm -hmm. vanilla, not like Tom Ford, much more vanilla, much more intense. And this boozy notes are like really, really heady. Mm -hmm. We tried it on our skin as well. And uh, longevity was like about seven hours. Seven think. hours. And um, on the skin, it dried down to more like a kind of coconut milk, sugary base. Even though the coconut is not there, but uh, yeah, it's yeah, kind of the feeling. Sugar, maybe ilang ilang with coca with with the sugar and vanilla give this feeling on the dry. Caramel. Yeah. And, and ton. Yeah. Wh whatever you can see on Fragrantica really resonates to, with this fragrance. Cherry, yes. Yeah. It's like dark cherry. Yeah, dark. Dark, sweet so cherry. Sweet, yeah. Red fruit, yes. It have the feeling of like this sparkling, soury feeling. Slightly. Yeah. yeah. From berries. And uh, caramel, absolutely, yes. Yeah, you can feel caramel, this vanilla, goofy, sugar. goofy feeling. Vanilla, sugar, yes. And ylang ylang, creamy te texture. Yes. Well, you know, it's like... The um, cherry liker. Like how to pronounce? <laughs> I'm afraid if I say so. Cherry liker? What? Yeah. Who it is? Liqueur. Oh, liqueur. liqueur. Yeah. Okay. Liqueur, yes. So, and the color of the liqueur, or liqueur, how to pronounce, I don't know. Like dark, dark cherry color. So, and the, the texture, it's like when it's like liquor, but so. Dense. Dense? Yeah. So dense. Or goofy. Uh, yeah, goofy, goofy. Like, like uh, this is my association. <laughs> Which color you see in texture? For me, texture is much much more lighter. I don't feel it's like too goofy, uh, too dense. For me, it's something more light, something like like red, red wine. And the color, yeah, is like color of the red wine. Like really, really red wine. Dark. Dark red, red yeah, wine. but smell is more like it's sweet feeling. Maybe, maybe you know, in my mind, it's more close oh. to Porto. I remember you, this one. This is just uh, I remember when we we stay and you oh, you buy something. Remember when we drink uh, Porto. Porto? Yeah, yeah, it, it was, was Porto. Porto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, Porto. Exactly. To it, like it reminds me more yeah. about Porto, about the color of the Porto, about. Like, um, and it's density more of the, density heavier of the, than yeah, it's than heavier the, than the, than wine. wine. Mm. More alcohol inside, mm. more relaxing, much more heady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one is something like it. Yeah, yeah, I like. 
I like this uh, this melon. Um, I would say it's something more summer. Summer, you think? It can be. I would say evening summer. Evening yeah, it's too summer, sweet for the for like to go to restaurant. Uh, evening yeah. restaurant. It's maybe date because it's date, it's yeah. pretty playful. It can uh, it can be also for yourself if you want to feel just cherry. relaxed, cherry indulged, and uh, mm, kind of immersed in this opulent, sugary, creamy feeling. So. You think it's only summer evening, or it can be maybe another season? I, I, th I think it's evening in the summer. I think perfect will be spring, uh, fall. Fall. Fall and winter. I think, yeah, that will be perfect. Or, or summer when it's weather like uh, like today in Montreal fall. Is it an everyday fragrance for fall and uh, winter? If you're a woman lover, yes. If not, it can be more occasional fragrance. Uh, I wouldn't say it's more everyday fragrance. It's kind of something more saturated for everyday fragrance. I think it's more to show off. But if you in a in your gourmand stage and you like everything that's sweet, yeah, that can be your fragrance. Gender. Gender. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say it's more feminine. I would say. Yeah, yeah. I feel it's like... But I like it on my skin. You know, I'm, I am I was really happy to wear this fragrance. So emotion? I, I don't know, because of the boozy notes, uh, boozy, this feeling, it's kind of Hazy. something, <laughs> something, yeah, something like sexy a bit. But S not since seductive. I know, yeah, it has some kind of playful, so playful side. Yeah, but not extremely strong. But since I know the dry down and dry down more like sweet cream, it's uh, it's more comforting mm -hmm. on a dry down. So beginning something slightly playful, and then you just uh, lay down and relax and watch uh, Netflix mm. and eat ice cream. <laughs> but beginning like you you're preparing yourself to to the date, like everything close like but then you realize okay i don't want to go anywhere i'm i'm happy in my house and sit I will down drink Porto and I'll, yeah stay i will drink watch... port uh, yeah and then watch uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. netflix and that's all <laughs> so something in in that line and, and also um simon and Dioli always give us a hint since uh, this bottle is black it's more for night even here like poetry of night so that means this Fragrance created more for evening or for cold weather, like more for evening, for darker season. And if bottle will be transparent, that means it's summerish daytime fragrance. Interesting. Yep. Interesting. So the texture, we we say it, color, we say it, taste, porto. <laughs> it, it, cherry porto. <laughs> yeah, it's cherry porto. It's yeah. like um, in UK they do in cherry porto. So maybe it's uh, cherry. Or cherry, cherry. Like uh, liquor, how do you pronounce it? Cherry liquor, but um, I don't know, like for me cherry liquor is more sweet. You know, I I, I would say it's cherry uh, like it, like it. Liquor. 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 So, liquor. My, my uncle is doing nice. <laughs> Cherry liquor. <gasps> liquor, liquor. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to buy this fragrance. Just just go and visit her uncle. He will just give it to you taste. for free. <laughs> Let's see. Your score for the scent. I like scent. For the bottle. Mm. You, I know you don't like the spray, yes? I like the spray. But what something wrong you told me you don't like with this bottle. I said that the spray is really, really good because it's a uh, Italian spray. It sprays at one time over, like a lot. Yeah. So two sprayers will be en enough for you. That okay. that, I, that that thing I like, and Can um, I? yeah, I pretty like this bottle. Nice, and all the brands. I like all the brands actually. And if you compare other cherry fragrance, which score you will give? If you will think like all cherry fragrances, like this one best or Mm, it depends on the situation. Like if for evening, I would say it can be on the same line with Lost Cherry by yeah. Tom Ford. So it will be the best one for evening, for date. Same line with the Rouge Smoking by BBK. 
but this is a different feeling, you know. It's hard to say. No, I, I can I can I cannot do that. <laughs> okay, I cannot do that. Uh, but this is pretty nice fragrance, but again, it's more in the beginning more like a little bit more sexy, heady vibes, then transition to something more comfortable, relaxing, like you just becoming more lazy person who stay at home and doing nothing. Dream portal. And dream portal. <laughs> so, okay, let us in the comments your opinion about the fragrance. Did you try it or you didn't? And do, which, which cherry fragrance is your favorite? Let us know. Yep. See you. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye.